Welcome to um, a video of uh, really today's been an eventful day. Um, as you can see, I hit 100k miles. I didn't really record the moment because for four attempts we had really there are three seats in here and that blows my mind. Um. Uh, just hold on. Uh, I'll get to that at the end. But I had 100k. And with that extra bit of money, I bought this. The McLaren Speedtail. A 250 mile per hour car. The coolest looking car you shouldn't buy. And uh, for obvious reasons, um... First, it's 4.5 million dollars in game for something slower than a Veyron, which is just like 100k more expensive, and a lot slower than the Venom, which is 100k cheaper. Which <laughs> uh, it's not a good start for it. Um, I'm gonna move my mic closer and then turn the reach down so uh, it doesn't pick up my my keyboard um great thing about this car is the looks like it is this is about the size it is in real life and the heavens above that is a beautiful car obviously i took the stock rims uh, it's diff too different on the front so it's like a flat hubcap and little silver things on the edges around there on the two front and then on the back it is a bunch of lines and then like right there in the center where the bolts are there's nothing it's just black um, and that's really cool um, the shape of the car it's it's almost just you could fit that in almost anywhere in between, you, know, you could probably get it in somewhere around like this. It is not a big car with, like, thickness. It is quite skinny, and it's long. And that's, I, I feel like that's why it's called Speed Tail. It's just because there's at least two to three feet. Uh, if this was actual size, it's two to three feet of car behind the wheel they, on a usual car it'd stop right there there's still headlights exhaust pipes and you you have to really back away to see the underbelly of this car it is low to the ground it is made for aerodynamics and that's why you see these little vents here suppose they come out right there makes sense the engine which I believe is in the it's probably in the back I don't know on this one um, it is re rear rear wheel drive which means you can do burnouts in it, which is why a lot of trolls buy it and they've ruined the cars sort of credibility and now no one buys it because it's usually driven by trolls not to say everyone that buys this car is a troll, because I am not. But if I find a speed tail on a server, 99% of the time, they're usually blasting some overplayed rap song and screaming at people in the chat to worship them. Um, and then, so this car just looks amazing. Um, I just had to stop a second, just take in the view of this car. As you can see right here, the sort of usual McLaren sort of curve like a bow right there. I think that's something common on a lot of McLarens these days. Uh, back here, uh... 
I'm trying not to sit in the car, and it's great that you have to press E now. I can get down here. There's a straight line here that goes from right about here all the way starts to open a continental divide and has a head uh, I mean a tail light a very cool looking one a, I assume it's a brake light because it always turns on with the brakes and it closes up and I feel like this body which is colored as the galaxy paid 3,000 gems for that and I spent 20 hours grinding for it which not really worth it, but when I didn't have a mic, that's all I really could do, so it's really cool. Um, and I just really like how precise that is, and how it feels that when you're driving this car, even though it is a game, it still feels like this car can just take off. It is light. Um, like I said, it can do burnouts, which is great. Um, just to, just to look at the, that is the exhaust pipe, right there. It is very long, um, and I didn't really want to pay for a boost on this, but I probably should have. And then as you can see, you can sort of see my theory of why I think that the body is just, this colored stuff is just put on top of the carbon fiber frame is because of this huge gap where I assume air flows through from probably that right there and then like with the brake light um, like that blinkers uh, the hull backlight I would have thought it's that light but it is not um, those lights really don't do anything. <laughs> They're just there. Oops. It has the Euro horn. The really annoying one. Um. I don't get it. With this car. Okay, yeah. I hadn't looked at the front blinkers. It takes up four for that. Why do you need a blinker, blinker so bright in a car that will probably most likely be on the track 90% of the time and that's a really good question and we're gonna put it to the test on the track now I just bought this car not just 10 minutes ago and it is already it accelerates extremely quickly haven't really had a chance to do the brakes because it is sort of a little flimsy, lightweight car, and it's good. As you can see, here, we'll start from 100, well, zero, oops. Start from zero, hit 100, and stop. I'll just keep track of this for yourself. I hit it right about or just under. That was a couple of seconds. Extremely fast. Um, um, this is not the actual engine sound. TTP has still not put the actual engines in, but we're gonna put it around the track. Usually, um, cars will hit of 141 or so mark trucks which if you go to Atlanta Georgia's channel which I will link his channel and the discord he runs in my description along with my uh, discord um, he uploaded a video of me hitting 100k um, <laughs> and <laughs> he stuck it out through the like almost an hour of footage that we probably had to go through because of how poorly the game handled what we were trying to do. Um, it's already quicker than a lot of things. It takes that corner tight. It's a bit wide out here. 
and then this is where braking and turning is really going to come in handy. And it is a track car. It is born to be here. Except on that turn. This could be seriously quick. seconds faster than the scene. Um, that cost uh, a good 2.7 million dollars more. Get the Sintadu the Sintadaichi. The, I looked up how to pronounce that. It's Sintadaichi or something ar around that. Goes around in about the same time. So this car is a proper track car and I know I've obsessed over looks um but we're just gonna get to the weird you know sort of specs of it um if you look inside there are three seats inside this car and as you can see you sit pretty low to the ground like this is me looking exactly straight ahead and I can't see over that you can sort of tell they actually put a lot of design into this that that seat is, the middle seat is higher than all the others I think that's really cool um, we'll do the quick rewards because it is comparable to Venom and Veyron it, it's 2500 XP and then 1355 if I remember correctly See, things like this, it's about to go. But it is. It's seriously quick. It is probably what I will use to race now. Because it's that quick through corners. And acceleration is. Now that I've cleared the notifications. So. Um. When we go under that light, we'll track what we have. This light right here. 160. The speed camera catches us at 128. And the can't do that. And that's insane. This car is a race car. It, it doesn't look like it because it is a fantastic looking car. And I can't wait till I get the actual gas engine sounds back. Because that is going to be a fantastic sound to play with this. Um, and honestly, it is the coolest car you shouldn't buy. Why do I say you shouldn't buy? It's too expensive. 4.5 million for 250 miles an hour is not good in ultimate driving. The Jesco, 5.6 million for 300. The Veyron, you know, 254, 55, 4.6 million. Venom, 290 at 4.4 million. So, you only buy this car if you're like me, and you have every, pretty much... You're pretty much done grinding except for content and stuff like this. I don't have anything to grind for. I'm not like, you know, Atlanta, 180k miles. I don't want to do that. 
That does not sound fun. If new cars come out, yes, I'll grind, but for right now, having this car to look at will be enough for me. And like I said, um, uh, I hit 100k. I will not be up. This will be my only video about it. It's not really big to me. 50k was a lot bigger, but I didn't have recording equipment back then, and I wish I did. I cried when I hit 50k. When I hit 100k, it was sort of like a surreal moment of, holy crap. I'm I'm in like the top 1% of players now or around that area like the top 10% of players. I've broken the 100 barrier, 100k barrier. And after that point, like let me show you the best guy in the game right now. 633,000 miles. Do I want to do that? No. Do I even want to do that? No. It is not. It wouldn't be fun for me. I would just be sitting here multiple days of the week, which I don't have time as at my age I have a lot of other things in life going on. It's not something that I can do. And that's what really sucks is that I didn't take the game seriously until, you know, it made, it hit me, and I was like, I need to take it seriously and get 100k miles. But, honestly, I won't be really doing, you know, you know, woo, I got like to 110k, maybe 120k. Because I'll know I'll be doing that trying to get every car in the game. Um, and that's just really where it sits right now. Um other cars coming up for the waste of money. This is not a waste of money car. This is a car that it's great for racing, bad for everything else. Um, great. <laughs> the beautiful car. But 4.5 million isn't justified by this. This beautiful car. Um, so, cars coming up. The Nino will definitely be one of the waste of money videos. Sergio will be one of them. I'm trying to think of some good others. Probably the Regera. Well, actually not the Regera. Regera is safe. The one-to-one -one is now a waste of money because of the Regera. Shot himself in the foot there. Just the foot for now. Because mm. I can't wait till... TTP finally listens to our pleas and adds a Chiron or Bugatti that broke 303 miles an hour. And it could go faster, so. It's really. The brand in the game is coming. Is, is literally shooting itself. But that's really. I can't figure out. Other than looks, I can't really figure anything out to talk about. It is astonishingly beautiful. The front is just, just a smooth sway to the back. The, the little outline here, it's so fine. You know, there's no sign of Really, it is the coolest car that you shouldn't buy. And so, I hope you enjoyed this car review video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.